before. Um, Anyway, I think it's a very good time to move the end of ja the first of January, but I think that it, you might have trouble getting someone to uh, take over until like the middle of December. Well, I'm moving in with my boyfriend, and I was wondering if you had any ideas on that. On that, okay. Well, we live together now, but we live with four roommates in one house. Now we need to move to our own place. <laughs> well, I can certainly understand that. <laughs> um, I think that's where you've been stuck. I think it's really, really good that you're going to be moving in with him alone. Me too. It's a good time. Thank you. Okay, okay thank Thanks. you for calling. We've got Gina on the phone. Gina's date of birth is 12-23-1960, December 23rd, 1960. Another call from Katona. Good morning, Gina. You're on with Mary Michelle. Morning. Good morning. Did you have a particular question, Gina? Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of... I'm interested to know where my how my health is doing and um, also career. Okay, your health, 122360. Um, okay, you have um, the sun in Capricorn, you have the moon in Pisces. It's a harmonious angle, but the moon right now is, um, it's being, uh, it's being pressured or put, you know, under the gun by Saturn. Um, so anything to do with, um, you know, with illness is something that you're going to be preoccupied with. Um, has it been going on for a long time? Hello? Hello. Hello, Gina? Oh, hi. Yes. Has, it, has it been going on for a while, your preoccupation with health? Yeah, I had a couple of years that were difficult. Things are getting much, much better. I just... Yeah, I think it's going to get better, but I don't think you're going to feel um, completely better about it, um, you know, for another couple of months. But it's on the mend. In other words, I think that there's... The nature of Pisces um, and the moon in Pisces is, is it takes a while for the emotional to catch up with the... Um, the realistic or that which is material so i think that the the healing of the physical body is is there but perhaps there are ways in which it hurts your psyche that you haven't caught up yet to healing the healing process so it's going to take a little bit more time but um i think you know definitely as you say the worst is over um what kind of illness was it oh boy um it was a of pancreas thing and uh, um, a, a whole whole slew of inside things. I was bombarded. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I think even though when we're on the mend, it just takes a little time. Um, even when the scab is there, you know, it takes a while for it to go away completely. And whenever we look at it, uh, you know, it brings back all of those fears. Um, and I think the thing about um, fear and Saturn, which is what I've been talking about today, is you kind of have to look it straight in the face and realize that um, you're, you know, the idea of Saturn and Saturn having, you know, castrated his father and then in turn was castrated by his son was that, um, you know, there's these, these cycles of patterns that we do, you know, kind of like the idea in the Bible, the sins of the father. And what we have to get over, what we have to, to realize is that we have to confront uh, those fears of repeating the same patterns. And you're going to, you're going to, you're well on your way to confronting them and, and getting over it. Okay, thanks so much for calling. Okay, thank you for calling. Let's get to Mary. Mary is calling from Greenwich, Connecticut. Date of birth is November 20th, 1930, 11 And good morning, Mary. You're on with Mary Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Um, I, I would just like to know a general idea of what's in store for the next year for me. Okay, Mary. Let's see. Don't seem to be able to get to 1930. Okay. 11... 20. 20. Okay. Um, you were born with the sun in Scorpio, as you know, and the moon in Sagittarius. So this, um, you know, this configuration of seven planets in Sagittarius was affecting your patterns, your daily routines, and so on. Uh, you're probably uh, wanting to pursue... Um, uh, there's probably a longing in you to want to pursue higher thought, higher learning. Um, are you uh, interested in going back to school or travel or? Travel. Travel. Um, you know, I think it's a very good time to do that. You have Mercury in Sagittarius, Venus in Sagittarius. I think you can really plan now. Do you have some place that you want to go? 
Uh, not, not not at the present time. Probably in the spring. Uh huh. Well, you should really you know research it now. Any place that you want to go, you want to um, you know read about it, find out about it, travel in your mind's eye, and then make the trip in the spring. Okay. Okay. And uh, can you tell me health wise? Health-wise, okay. Again, I think with all these planets in Sagittarius and so on, you are um, you're somebody that can at this point easily cure yourself or heal yourself. Okay. Okay. I have that kind of strength. Yes. That marvelous. Thanks so much for calling, Michelle. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. We're going to get to Maria and then to Anne, just a couple of seconds away on Meet the VIPs with Mary Michelle. Back in 52 seconds. <laughs> The Bedford Pharmacy is a small, friendly pharmacy with the emphasis on service. Let John give you his undivided attention, filling your prescription in minutes with a complete computerized prescription record. Discover the many reasons to visit Bedford Pharmacy, like their selection of Voucher Mom sunglasses, Caswell Massey, Taylor of London, and Knipe products. Fragrances like Shalimar and Chanel, a complete line of Revlon and Alme skin care. The Bedford Pharmacy, next to the hardware store on Route 22 in Bedford. Open weekdays 9 to 6, Saturdays 9 to 6. Fax service and charge accounts now available. Call 234-7074, 234-7075. And welcome back to Meet the VIPs with Mary Michelle. Let's get to the phones again. Maria is watching on Cable Channel 12 over in Yorktown. Date of birth, December 26, 1920. 5 a.m. in the morning, to be precise. Good morning, Maria. You're on with Mary Michelle. Good morning, Maria. I can't do that specific a chart with your time of birth because I'm only looking at, the, I can't do the calculations that quickly. But I can tell you that you have um, the sun in Capricorn and you have the moon in Cancer, so you were born at the full moon. Um, whenever someone is born at the full moon, you, uh, there's always this polarity of, 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 you know, feelings and things get very intense. You know, you're always going from one extreme to the other kind of thing. Um, was there a particular question? Yes, it concerns my health. I have quite a few problems right now. Uh-huh. Okay. The, the sun in Capricorn, uh, the moon in Cancer, Mercury in Sagittarius. Venus in Aquarius, Mars in Aquarius. Um, I, I think that, is there any possibility of you trying some alternative therapies? What kind of, um, what kind of illnesses is it? Uh, pressure. Blood pressure? Right. <laughs> Arthritis, uh, respiratory, mm -hmm. and I had an operation uh, in 85, which I'm taking medication for. Uh-huh. Well, I think the thing is that a lot of these things like arthritis and blood pressure and so on, there are alternative um, things that one can do with that in conjunction with following your regular medical doctor. Um, you have Venus and Mars both in the sign of Aquarius, um, Mercury and Sagittarius. I mean, you're someone that embraces easily uh, new ideas and concepts, things that are new to you. So I think you really ought to try to maybe go to the local health food store or talk to, uh, you know, people that would give you new ideas of looking, ways of looking at helping to heal yourself. Well, I don't take anything for the arthritis or respiratory. Well, maybe you should try doing something from the health food store. Might help. <laughs> okay? No, actually, it does. I, I, I'll suck in that one also. Okay. Uh, but the one thing, again, a little caveat here is uh, don't do anything without telling your regular physician what you're doing, please, exactly. yeah, right. because we don't want anybody to get in trouble there. All right, Anne is on the phone. Anne is calling for her grandson, who was born August 17th, 1980. It's a nice date, August 17th. I was married on that day, but not in 1980. Once upon a time, <laughs> dinosaurs roamed the earth. Oh, Good morning, Anne. You're on with Mary Michelle. Hello, Mary Michelle. I made a mistake. It's 81. Oh, sorry. 81781. 81781. Right. Okay. I'm just wondering what the future holds for him and where to encourage him, how, where to discourage him, if anywhere. Uh, just a general overview. Okay. All right. Well, he's a Leo, as you know. He has the moon in Pisces, so there's a very soft underbelly there. Um, you know, Leo's got a lot of bravado and they, you know, want to be center stage and so on, but the moon in Pisces is someone that is, you know, very compassionate and caring and, and uh, you know, sometimes that can... Um, conflict with, you know, uh, the uh, Leo characteristics of wanting to be center stage. Pisces wants to hide. Um, the Mercury in Virgo, 
Venus and Virgo. He's very detailed oriented. Does he like computers? Loves them. Yeah. Well, I think he ought to pursue that, and he ought to um, not be alarmed if he enjoys doing things like playing with video games and, and the Magic Kingdom and that kind of thing. I think these are very good for him. Good, good. Okay? Yeah. I have to go. Thanks so much for Okay, calling. thank you for calling. Let's get to Martha. Martha's date of birth is April 16th, 1950. 4 50. Martha's calling from Bedford. Good morning. You're on with Mary Michelle. Good morning, Martha. Hi, Mary. I uh, actually am calling more, I think, similar to the other listener. I wanted to find out what was in store for my two sons. Okay. Um, well, you were born at the new moon, so you're someone that impet um, gives them impetus. You, you get them going, and, and um, there's probably never a dull moment with you. Uh, <laughs> Mercury in Taurus, uh, you know, you think about money quite a bit. Um, Venus in Pisces is exalted. Your ability to love people um, is almost um, to the point of chivalrous. You know, you, you, your ability to love and care for people is a very beautiful thing, but sometimes it might be hard for you because you want it to be too perfect. Uh, I'm afraid that's all I have time for. Okay. Thanks, thanks so much for calling. Okay, thank you for calling. Uh, may I make a suggestion if you want a better look at it? Next week may be a good yeah, time to do it. We've got back. one final call. That is Ashley watching on Cable Channel 12 over in Katona. Date of birth, August 17th, 81. We just, wow, here we are. Look at this. August 17th, 1981. <laughs> Look at that. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning. Good morning. You're, you're, you're not the child, or, or no, you couldn't be. No, he was a boy. That's right. So we're gonna, there's, um, there are a couple of Ashleys, I think, but yeah. that's all right. Good morning. All right. Um, did you have a particular question, Ashley? Yes. I was just wondering about, um, like, relationship. Uh-huh. How um, everything's going. Okay. Uh, well, you have this moon in Pisces, um, you know, Sun in Leo, moon in Pisces, um, Mercury in Virgo, Venus in Virgo. The moon in Pisces, um, in terms of your um, emotional life, there's a little there's a little bit of an angst there. Um, but you've probably been feeling it for some time, and I think there's a shift, you know. But it probably won't happen right away. Is there a particular area? Um, is there someone in particular that is making it difficult for you? Uh, yeah, um, I've been seeing this guy off and on for about a year, and I just really want to know, you know, if I should just go ahead and try to make it work or just quit because it's really confusing. Um, I think that uh, you you shouldn't put too much pressure on it right now. Um, I think you should use your, your creativities with the sun and Leo and all these planets in Sagittarius. You ought to be doing, do you work? No. Go you go to school. Okay, well, what, whatever it is that you're doing, your focus ought to be more in that vein for the moment. And I think that the relationship issue with this person is going to resolve itself after the first of the year. You'll have a clearer idea. Right now is not a time that you're going to get any clarity. I'm sorry, but thanks for calling. Okay, thank you very much. That was Ashley. That's our final call for today. Uh, Mary Michelle, you will be back next week. Definitely. What are we going to talk about then? We talked about Jupiter. We talked about Sagittarius. We talked about Gemini. Well, tell me which god you'd like to talk about. I don't know any. Of course you do. You know the Greek and Roman gods, who they that are. That was so long ago that I took that course. <laughs> I will read the book that you gave me. Okay. And then we will surprise you. Then we'll, we'll put it up. Uh, Mary Michelle gave me a book uh, by Jean Dixon, was it? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm going to read it between now and next okay. week. This is the uh, Reagan's astrologer. Yes. Well, <laughs> another whole story there. Right. Mary Michelle, have a great day. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Thanks. To all of you who called, we do thank you for joining with us. And again, uh, if you want to talk to Mary Michelle next Friday, anytime after 905 at 241-1310, have a good Bye -bye. day. Bye-bye. I want to Thank Christine for a wonderful...